Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Aqualung Explorer 2 duffel bag. So this is a decent sized duffel bag that's kind of a rucksack kind of backpack design because you've got these dual shoulder straps. It's very, very tough. Uh, comes in lots of bright colors, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives uh, in a plastic bag. Tisk tisk Aqualung, um, but needs must unfortunately um nothing overly fancy on the uh, on the plastic bag uh, so let's see what's actually inside of said transparent clear see-through plastic bag um you get the bag itself uh, a small little book uh, about the the rest of the explorer bag collection range uh, and then the uh, the bag itself so let's have a quick tour around so on the front on this side we have a, a small zippered pocket and, uh, and this is the entire section of the front, even sort of up, uh, sort of above it, so you can fit things in there. It's pretty flat um, to sort of separate gear around, um, but yeah, just as a quick access pocket, it's pretty nice. Got a nice little uh, sort of toggle on it, and that zips up. We have some protection on the uh, sort of outer corners uh, to protect them from wear and tear. On the underside, we've got some compression straps, uh, and you can unclip those but you can also use that to sort of put your fins underneath that and uh, sort of get them out or whatever it is a roll mat a yoga mat whatever you're doing with it big aqualung logo on the underside which is kind of cool i'm digging that uh, the underside is tough um this is like a sort of a plasticky material uh pretty robust so uh, yeah that's gonna be nice and tough uh flipping it around so on the top side we have these kind of backpack straps. Uh, these are nice and thin. Uh, they've got a bit of foam padding. There's some mesh to that as well. So that's going to stay nice and comfortable. Uh, they've got this like one inch webbing. That's just going to give it the strength. So you can wear this as a backpack. It's got a chest strap and everything. Two little plastic D-rings. So you can wear it a bit like a BCD and clip things off onto it. Um, and then you have like adjustable straps, just like a uh, rucksack and backpack. No, a backpack pack and uh, these kind of compression sort of uh, elasticated things here as well to keep that strap from flapping around. On the other side, on this side, you have a mesh panel. So this is going to be helpful for uh, to allow for your smaller bits to drip dry. Um, so underneath this uh, sort of little booklet thing, you have another zipper, and then you have this like PVC coated mesh material. So anything that you stow in there, it's just gonna air dry, drip dry. Uh, so for smaller things like your mask or whatever, uh, you can kind of stow them in there for the journey home so that they can dry themselves. Um, on the sides, on this side, you've got a small little uh, sort of loop of webbing. That's more so that you can uh, sort of use the zipper a bit easier. On the other side, there is yet another small pocket here. Uh, so one there, undo that. And that leads to an internal section. That's only kind of that section here. Uh, so small things, quick access things. This is at the top of the bag. This is going to be like your cell phone and uh, your sunglasses and stuff. On the inside, it's uh, it's not soft, um, so I probably wouldn't put my sunglasses in there uh, unless it was the only thing. But yeah, something quick access. And then. Oh, you also get a grab handle at the top of the bag between those shoulder straps so you can carry it around. It's kind of a, a duffel slash backpack design. On the top, you have a, uh, a zipper, dual zipper that can be padlocked together section. And that leads to the inside of the bag, which is just a fairly traditional black internal lining. Um, is there anything on the inside? No pockets, no pouches that I can find. Um, so yeah, just a, a very simple, decent sized bag actually, um, that weighs very little. Um, so yeah, if you're just after a, a pretty tough, compact little bag, just to throw your essentials in uh, and carry it around, then yeah, this has got a little bit of everything. 
Right, so let's review the Explorer 2 duffel. So first of all, who is this for? It's a decent size kit bag. You're not gonna fit all of your stuff in, but you're gonna fit your essentials in. So if you've got a short pair of fins, this is about 61 centimeters long, I think. So if you've got some fairly short, like vented fins, they probably fit on the inside, but you can also stow them on the underside with those two straps. Uh, as far as masks, uh, your snorkel, your dive computer, a towel, uh, you know, reel spools, SMBs, those kind of bits and bobs, you can throw inside of these and they'll be perfectly fine. So that's kind of what it's there for. Snorkeling as well, you could probably fit like a shorty with uh, sort of all your bits and bobs inside. Uh, the bag itself is about 46 litres in uh, in volume. So yeah, it's a decent size. You can fit a lot in it, um, but you probably fit just your dry suit uh, in it if you're a cold water diver. But it's a good sort of all rounder. So yeah, if you if you're going on a snorkeling trip, yeah, you can throw all your bits and bobs inside. And then if you then take it home, you can take it to go to the gym, put all your stuff inside of it. It's a decent size, and it does kind of compress down pretty flat uh, when you're not using it. So it's that good sort of all around. Uh, I imagine you'd have to check the airlines, but it's almost um, sort of airline complacent. Not complacent. That's not the right word. Um, but you can take it on as a sort of carry on and obviously you'd have to check the uh, the volumes but yeah this is a decent sized backpack now as far as bags I look at the, the four different categories and then a fifth overall. So first of all, I'm looking at the weight. The weight of a bag is very, very important. Um, this one weighs about one and a half kilos incredibly light nice and light um it's it's a little bit heavier than the lighter of alternatives because of that what was it 1618 1680 dernier uh, material so the material itself is very very tough which i'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of weight for um that's sort of tougher material so it's getting five out of five for that as far as features, uh, I've only given it four out of five. It could have had sort of extra little touches here and there, like in that sort of top section, a kind of a fleece lining, because if I'm putting my sunglasses in there, it's not gonna scratch the lenses. A few other sort of little touches here and there would have given it the five, um, but overall, a very, very good um, sort of feature rich bag, chest straps, adjustable shoulder straps, foam padded. Um, they've actually got uh, sort of vents through that foam. So when you're uh, sort of diving or just carrying it around in warmer climates, your shoulders can breathe a little bit. You're not gonna get so sweaty underneath it. You've got the, uh, the sort of mesh panel on the back. So it is a feature rich bag. As far as build quality goes, five out of five it's aqualung so of course it's going to be good uh, all of the stitching is very neat and tidy all of the uh, sort of edge work it, it, it's, it's all it's very very well built so five out of five as far as cost um i never go into the specifics of the cost but as far as uh, the, the range uh, as far as the bags go it's a relatively inexpensive bag it's uh, it's worth the investment it's it's not a cheap bag but it you do have to uh, sort of invest in these things. So again, five out of five, It's uh, yeah, it definitely sits in a really nice kind of price range. And f for what you get, for what you pay, it's, it is a very nice bag. And it comes in lots of different colors, which is pretty cool. Um, so all in all, I've given it nine and a half out of 10. It's not picture perfect, but it is a incredibly good bag. So if you're in the market for a sensible size, kind of not carry all, but a decent size, 46 something liter bag, then yeah, this is a very good choice. Okay, so that's the Aqualung Explorer 2 duffel bag, a, a kind of a duffel slash backpack, 46 liters, like 1618 denier material, very, very tough very practical, just a simple square-ish bag with a few panels on either side. Uh, shoulder straps, yeah, it's ticking a lot of boxes. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. If you go down to the description in YouTube, there'll be a link that will take you straight to it. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.